Hello everybody, my name is Lioncaster, and we're back with Agatha Christie, and then there were none. So last time, uh, this lady fainted after she heard everybody is a murderer in this house. I don't blame her. But now we need to go get the doctor bag. The doctor bag. Doctor bag. Doctor bag. Does whatever a doctor bag does. Does it contain stitches? It probably does. Why am I continuing this song? Nobody knows. Did I just... Oh, no, that's the wrong room. I thought I guessed it right the first try. I think it's one to the right of this room. Yep. <laughs> so close, and yet so far. Well... I guess I just put that in my pocket or something. How much you want to bet they're just gone when I get down there? A few moments later. Yep. <laughs> oh wait, no, I have to go in through the secret door or something. They took her to the bedroom. So anyway, last time, uh, yeah, we searched the rest of the house and they all uh, found out that everybody in this house has been accused of murder, I think. And the crap's about to hit the fan. I think they're in here. He's still pushing- Oh my god. Not now. Not now. Yeah. Perhaps we can talk later. For now, I must see to my patient. Really, guys, stop calling me. No time for that right now. Thank you, Mr. Maricott. <laughs> I am in your debt. Take it. Well, perhaps we can talk later. For now, I must see to my patient. Okay, so now I just go to the parlor and talk to everybody. Hey guys, I remembered to start my timer this time. Hello, everybody. It's your Uncle Lancaster here, and look at this. Look at this. Look at this. My computer's running again. Unfortunately, it has so many viruses on it right now that I'm actually unable to download any more content for this video. That really sucks. I'm not doing this to just get out of editing the rest of it. I find editing this stuff really fun. So, lay off. I swear next time I edit a video it'll be complete. But I need to just clean up my computer and I just want to get this video up really quickly since I've been neglecting that for a real long time. So, yippee, computer's fixed and enjoy the rest of the video. Yay! I like that couch, or little sofa thing. It's nice. How quaint. Oh, now, Rogers, hi. Tell us about that extraordinary voice. What? It was Mr. Owen, sir. In his letter, he wrote to me to put it on the gramophone once you were all settled in here after dinner. Well, that was Mr. Owen's voice? You doubt that it was? No, no, no. Yes. I thought I recognized it. I'm sure I'm mistaken. Uh, so everybody recognizes it. Joke. You think it was a joke? What else could it be? I will need to hear more evidence before offering an opinion. Mr. Marston and I carried Mrs. Rogers to her room. I gave her a mild sedative. She's resting comfortably. Yeah, so just Whoever leave her alone there. Whoever it was on that recording, that person knows or has taken the trouble to find out a good deal about us all. So and this episode is going to involve a lot of talking to people. I the trial, but all I did and a lot of a really creepy-looking people I remember up the case. close in the as camera's I recall, face. There was some talk. Happily you need a wide-angle lens when that guy's standing there. By those of us qualified to make a judgment, not by gossip. Of course, there is one <laughs> omission in that I think he just got whiplash from, like, how fast he moved his body backwards. Although to hear Mr. Bloor tell it, he might have earned a place on that list had Mr. Owen been so inclined. Oh, yeah, the pre-rendered cutscene's over. Any truth to the accusation against you? Any truth you? to the accusation against you? It's a matter of interpretation, you understand. But I'd have to say, yes. So, I just interpreted your murderer 
Will you tell me how it happened? Elderly woman. Poor devil. I'd been up all night with an emergency case. My nerves were shot. Hands shaking. But I had to operate. I had to try and save her. And you killed her. To steady myself, but I... <laughs> I bungled it. It wasn't the drink, I swear. It was oh, an sure. accident. Could have happened to anyone in my profession. Yeah, especially ones that drink. What brought you here to Shipwreck Island? Owen sent me a note, asking me to have a look at his wife, who's been suffering from arthritis and muscle spasms. What was the gossip concerning the Seton case? I'm not one to spread gossip to just anyone about a man as distinguished <laughs> as Justice Wargrave. If I was certain about it, perhaps. Oh. But I'm not. If you'll excuse me, Doctor. No. Let's talk to this guy. Any truth to the accusation against you? The name sounded vaguely familiar. I expect it will come to me. <laughs> what brought you here to shipwreck Island? I think you would know if it's you killed somebody. Of mine. Badger Barkley. Surprised me badger. at the time because I had an idea the old horse had gone to Norway. Told me to what? roll up here. Thought he was a badger, not a horse. horse. Any truth to the accusation against you? It's true we were the only ones there the night Miss Brady died. But she was always in poor health. Always. From the time we came to her. Will you tell me how it happened? There was a storm. As fierce as the one brewing outside oh, right now nice. when she was taken bad. The telephone was out of order. I went to the doctor on foot. But he got there too late. Was were it you that mentioned doctor? In the will? Barely. Certainly not what we were led to believe. She was just saying it, you see. To ensure our devotion to her. Beg pardon. I'm not sure what came over me just oh. then. The strain of tonight, I expect. And worry over Mrs. Rogers, of course. So he killed her over getting the share of her will. What I'm brought guessing. you here to Shipwreck Island? We expected to finally meet Mr. and Mrs. Owen today. Ethel didn't want to take the job. But I insisted. I'm beginning to wish I'd listened to her. Thank you, mm. Mr. Rogers. Any truth to the accusation <laughs> against you? I'm like the... I remember Seton perfectly well. Playwright, charged with the murder of a chorus girl. Ooh. He was found guilty. Hung himself in his cell three days later. Saved the Crown the expense of doing it for him. Thank you kindly, mm. Judge. Any truth to the accusation against you? About that child, Cyril Hamilton. I was nursery governess to him. Are you Julia Roberts? tell me how it happened? I'd like to tell you. Cyril was forbidden to swim out far. One day, my attention was distracted. I couldn't get there in time. What are you doing, drinking? It was awful. But it, it wasn't my fault. Seems to be what everybody else was doing at the at time. At the inquest, the coroner exonerated me. Oh, and his mother. She was so kind. If she didn't blame me, why should this awful thing be said? Are you because sure you're telling me everything? I'm telling you all I'm going to. It's a plot Lincoln. device. What brought you here to Shipwreck Island? I was engaged through the skilled women's agency to be Mrs. Owen's personal secretary. That was a for thing the back then. The summer. Then I hoped to return to teaching. A good evening to you, Miss Clayton. Stay safe. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Any truth to the accusation against you? Fellow got hold of a detestable rumor, nothing more. Arthur Richmond was one of my officers. I sent him on a reconnaissance, he was killed. Natural course of events. <laughs> I sent him on a reconnaissance, you, he gentlemen. was killed. Stay well. <laughs> Any truth to the accusation against you? I admit it's a ghastly story, but I can't say it's wrong. Ghastly. Owen did his research well. The accusation is absolutely true. I'm trying to like figure out the layout of this room because I always thought that the radio was in the corner, but is it? Because I know that the fireplace is at the far side of the room. Uh, I don't know. This room is just kind of some kind of a pocket dimension. Will you tell me how it happened? Oh, it was written up in the papers at the time. A story of self-preservation, pure and simple. A hunting party lost in the bush. The great white hunter checks the food supplies, assesses his chances, well. and clears out on his own. Leaving 21 men to die. Not very Puka Sahib, I'm afraid. <laughs> what brought you here to Shipwreck Island? Owen's attorney, a man named Archibald Morris, rang up one day. 
wanted to give me a hundred guineas to join this house party. I was to put myself at Owen's disposal in case my rather specialized talents were required. What specialized Ew. talents would those be? You might say I'm a good man in a scrap. Good evening, Mr. Lombard. You're wearing a sports jacket. I don't know if I believe you. These are the last two guys, I think. I hope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, one of them is in bed, yeah. Any truth to the accusation against you? Look, Maricot, if that's what you want to call yourself. The rules have changed. Can't you see that? The past is past. It's the present we should be worrying about. Past is present. Something is not right here. Will you tell me how it happened? All right, all right. Perhaps I was all doing right. the odd favor for the Purcells. But if your brother was framed, I had nothing to do with it. Yes, they paid me to perjure myself about Landor. Thanks to them, I was able to put enough away to set up my own detective agency. Nothing fancy. But I've been straight ever since, I swear. I, s I bet Landor that guy's just died. like a Barney Five guy. He got guy. penal servitude for life and died in Dartmoor a year later. Not my fault he was such a delicate man. What brought you here to Shipwreck Island? A boat. I run a little detective agency in Plymouth these days. I'm Plymouth. on a job to protect Mrs. Owen's jewels, the letter said. Jewels. Mrs. Owen, my foot. I don't <laughs> believe there's any such person. That'll do, Mr. Bloor. And you. Any truth to the accusation against you? Beatrice Taylor was in service with me. See, that's literally nice Aunt B from I the Andy Griffith Show. Loose. No morals whatsoever. Insert her picture of her here. I'm just saying that. I'm sorry if it gets annoying. I need to remind myself to put that in there. Will you tell me how it happened? It was some time before I found out she was what they call in trouble. Her parents were decent folk, too. I'm glad to say they did not condone her behavior when I told them of it. What happened to Beatrice? Naturally, I did not keep her an hour under my roof. No one shall ever say that Emily Brent condoned immorality. What? How did she die? Not content with having one sin on her conscience, she committed a still graver sin. She took her own life, threw herself in the river. If she had behaved like a decent young woman, she'd be alive today. What? <laughs> you have no regrets? She made an excellent... I regret... Wow. I that. That's just cold. Fresh juice every day. I what regret you here nothing. to Shipwreck Island? I received a letter with a signature that was not very easy to read. It purported to be from a woman I had met at a certain summer resort two or three years ago. I am quite certain I have never met or become friendly with anyone of the name of Owen. That's mean. I overheard you mention St. Trednick to Miss Claythorne. I was staying at a seaside hotel near St. Trednick this same week of August four years ago. That boy Cyril Hamilton drowned near there. It was the talk of the town. His half-brother was much older. Hugo, I think his name was. Cyril was a vile child, by all accounts, but first in line for the family title and estates. When he died, it all went to Hugo. He was just about Miss Claythorne's age. There was talk of something between them. You're suggesting Vera let the boy drown so the man she loved could inherit? That would be idle gossip. I don't indulge <laughs> in idle gossip. Neither I've only told you the facts of the case as I remember them. Good evening to you, Miss Brent. All right. Oh. Can I pick up one of these? Please tell me I can pick up one of these. Oh. Well, I can pick up the matches. Oh! They don't get along. Are you kidding me? Some things once done cannot be undone. You just need to literally pull a match out. What? I don't... Uh, it... They don't get along. Is there, like, something stuck in the pipe? I can't see anything of interest. Oh my god. Why do I still have Bloor's notebook? Anyway, read this. I copied the contents into my notebook. It's foreshadowing here.
I'll read that eventually, but... Who haven't I talked to? I know that something is supposed to happen once you've talked to all of them. Uh, where's the phonograph? Is there like a phantom phonograph here? I have nothing more to say to him. Okay. Who do I have something more to say to? I don't think he's in the mood for conversation. Now is not the time for chatter. <sighs> okay, so that is in a corner. So what's up with this room? The time for talk has passed. I have nothing more to say to him. I have more important things to do uh. than chat. The time for talk has passed. Are you kidding me? I've talked to everybody. I don't think he's in the mood for conversation. Did I break the game? The time for talk has passed. Well, okay. I guess I'll end this here. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Stay classy. Bye.